we're asked to find the tangent line to the parabola f of x is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 1 at the point x equals 2. We're also asked to sketch a graph of this guy out. Okay, so this original function, <clears throat> excuse me, um, you know, it actually might be better to grab, um, let me do the, here I've grabbed a, a picture of the graph, that way it looks a little bit better than my sketch. And so what we're asked to do is we're asked to find the tangent line to this particular parabola here at an x value of 2. Okay. So I need to go ahead and find the equation of the line that looks something like this. That's the guy i got to find. Okay, so how do we find that? Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to find the slope of that black line. Now, the problem is, is that that black line only has one point on it, and my drawing is not going to be perfect. So in order to get the exact slope, we need to do a little bit of algebra, and we're going to use that, um, um, that definition for um, the derivative. So f prime at 2 should be equal to f at 2 plus delta x minus f at 2 all over delta x with the note on here that we're going to let delta x become really small. Okay, So let's go ahead and do this computation out here. So f prime at 2, the slope of the tangent line at 2, the slope of this black line, is equal to 2 plus delta x plugged into this original equation right here. So it's going to be 2 plus delta x squared minus 3 times 2 plus delta x plus 1. That, folks, this is this piece right here. Then we need to subtract off f at 2. Well, f at 2 is 2 squared minus 3 times 2 plus 1. That is this piece right here. Okay? And then of course we divide by that really small number that's not zero, delta x. Okay. So this is going to be four plus four delta x plus delta x squared minus six minus three delta x plus 1 minus, now let's just go ahead and compute this. This is 4 minus 6, which is negative 2, plus 1, which is negative 1, so minus 1. Sorry, minus and negative 1, so plus 1 over delta x. So I've got 4, okay, let me, 4, 5, 6, negative 6. They're all gone, okay, because they cancel each other out. So here we're left with, and I'm going to pull out a delta x, we're left with 4 plus delta x minus 3 over delta x, which is equal to 4 plus delta x minus 3. As delta x becomes really small, this becomes 4 minus 3, which is 1. So what is that? That says that the slope of this line is 1. Now the question is, is where does it hit back here? All right. So we need to actually find the whole equation for it. And let's, let's call this guy g. So g of x will be the tangent line. So g of x, let's do this in a different color. So g of x is linear. It has a slope of 1, but we don't know what its intercept is. But we do know that when we plug 2 into the original function, let's go back here we get 4 minus 6 plus 1, which is negative 1. So this guy must be at 2, negative 1. And sure enough, our graph agrees with that. So that means down here, when we plug in 2, that's supposed to be equal to negative 1. So clearly, b here is negative 3, which means g of x is equal to x 
minus 3. Which means that if we extended this line back, oops, I'm not drawing it in well here, but it would hit back here at negative 3. This is our answer. That's what we're looking for.